Bill. I, I know what happened last night. And I know what's been going on since then. And I think you just might have the wrong idea about one or two things. Okay, he had a bruise on his face. That's a hell of a lot less than he deserves. Listen, Bill, I don't think you realize what kind of trouble you were in last night. Who do you think those people were? Those were not just ordinary people there. If I told you their names, I'm not going to tell you their names, but if I did, I don't think you'd sleep so well. Have you seen this? Yes, I have. I saw her body in the morgue. Was she... Was she the woman at the party? Yes. She was. Victor, the woman lying dead in the morgue was the woman at the party. Yes. Well, Victor, maybe I'm missing something here. You called it a fake, a charade. Do you mind telling me what kind of fucking charade ends with somebody turning up dead? Okay, Bill, let's, 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 let's cut the bullshit, all right? You've been way out of your depth for the last 24 hours. You want to know what kind of a charade? I'll tell you exactly what kind. That whole play-acted, take-me, phony sacrifice that you've been jerking yourself off with had absolutely nothing to do with her real death. Nothing happened to her after you left that party that hadn't happened to her before. She got her brains fucked out, period. When they took her home, she was, she was just fine. And the rest of it is right there in the paper. She was a junkie. She OD'd. There was nothing suspicious. Her door was locked from the inside. The police are happy. End of the story. Come on. It was always going to be just a matter of time with her. Remember? You told her so yourself. You remember the, the one with the great tits who OD'd in my bathroom? Listen, Bill, nobody killed anybody. Someone died. It happens all the time. But life goes on. It always does, until it doesn't. <laughs> but you know that, don't you? <laughs>